Hello friends, please subscribe to our channel for the support and play the bell icon to get all the notifications. First you need to power on your TV. Then you can check all the options quickly. Search bar, source bar, HDMI, all other components. And then you can tap to the settings, pictures, and then the sound. So quickly first we'll set up the network. We'll go into the open network setting. And look for the Wi-Fi available. So once it is set up, you can also rename your device like default or you want to provide uh, your own name, you will go in the user input and you can set your TV name so it will broadcast for Bluetooth also Bluetooth pairing, casting, the same name will be broadcast. Then you can tap on the settings, time, startup, accessibility and all. Then you can tap to the support, you can check the software updates. So you need to turn on the auto updates. So if any update comes it will take it directly. So I am checking for the updates as of now. I am up to date so it will just show that. It takes a while depends on your internet speed so mine is up to date and I have to click on the ok then we'll move forward and we'll go quickly into the application tabs you can launch the YouTube and for that first you need to register yourself Once you are registered, you can play any recommended song whichever is running on the home page. You can exit the YouTube and can go to next application that is Amazon Prime Video. Same way you have to register here then you can use the application. So I am already registered and it is showing that deregister your device. So no need to do that and we can go to the prime videos let me just show you here you have to register first and once you come back to the home page of the prime video you can watch all the components all the media so when you will return to the home key it will show all the applications and other components so we'll start mirroring from mobile to the TV in your mobile you need to search the casting option and because TV is connected with the Wi-Fi it will show with the same name you provided in the user input you will tap on the cast and your phone will be mirroring to the TV then you can uh, show anything on your TV like browsing or so rotation will be depend on your mobile setting portrait or landscape
have that just a one shoot of us. So then you will exit from the casting and your phone mirroring will be stopped and then you will return back to the home screen which is your cable TV connection. Now let me show you the smart view app of Samsung Smart. You can browse everything from your mobile, you can directly use the keyboard to type the URL and hit the enter button so it will play on your TV. So though you can use your TV as a computer also you can browse anything. No need to connect the wireless keypad and mouse. You can use this application. Smart view is very smart, very handy. It does almost everything. So here is the bbc.com which we hit in the URL bar. And then you have remote options also in this application. You can volume up and down, channel move up and down. So you can also launch the YouTube from this application, play any video, so this application is very handy, you can use as a remote, you can use as a keyboard, you can navigate through the trackpad like you have in your laptops. So you can also launch any other application like Amazon Prime through your application Smart View. You can tap on the videos and with the help of this trackpad you can scroll left, right, up and down side. And then you can play it easily and the same time you can use your phone normally for any function like you want to make a call. You can use it separately. And then you can use your smart TV as a Bluetooth uh, device just to play your MP3 song from your mobile. For that you need to go in a sound setting and play the sound mirroring on. You need to go in an expert setting and then turn on the mirroring, sound mirroring on. Now you need to go in your phone Bluetooth setting and you need to find out your TV name as a Bluetooth device and then once you pair it you can play any mp3 song continuously in your TV. Like I am already paired with my TV and I am playing a track so it is directly playing in the TV which is a cool feature huh. So that was the all about this TV, smart Samsung Smart TV and the application Smart View. So if you guys have any question, any query or suggestions for us, you can post in the comment sections. Please don't forget to subscribe and play the bell icon so you can get all the notifications of all upcoming videos. Keep watching us, keep supporting us. Thanks for your all love which you have provided earlier. We'll be signing off for today. We'll see you in next videos. Till then, you take care.